Hey, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. So today we are going to set up Strapi with Docker Compose. And from the beginning, I'm going to follow the official documentation here. Basically, I am going to use MongoDB Atlas and uh, just Strapi with Docker. So in the official documentation, they have MongoDB example but they are using this Mongo image. So I am not going to use this. I'm going to use part of this and then modify a little bit of this uh, compost file and set up it with MongoDB Atlas. So let's get into it. So in my code editor, I have a folder called Docker Strapi. So I'm going to create docker-compose.yaml file. And I'm going to copy all of this, only the top part because I don't need the MongoDB part. So like this, and I'm going to remove the uh, environment uh, variables that defined here. At least I'm going to keep this and uh, I'm going to add App name and then I'm going to add another one database client database client Mongo and then I will add env file here I'm going to reference to environment file dot env so you can create the now env file here .env. We will use this later. One other thing, thing I would add here. Um, restart unless it stopped. Then, what you have to do is run Docker compose up minus d. So in the meantime, uh, so it's already done. Uh, to confirm, you can go to the, if you're using Mac, you can uh, use uh, Docker Desktop. For example, here we have the icon. And if you click on the dashboard, so basically you can see the, this, the recently created container. So Docker is strapping. If you click inside here, and uh, click here then you can also click on the container then you can see the log so it is setting up so it's installing dependencies if you go back to the code editor so you can see here files are creating right now and uh, so we just have to wait until everything is in installed and uh, let's see so what i'm going to do in the meantime is creating a MongoDB Atlas account. So head into the browser and go to mongodb.com. And here, as you can see, they have a free, uh, a free plan too. So you can sign up to the free plan. Uh, I will sign up using my Google account. And I accept the privacy and submit. Okay, so once you created this, uh, you can create a new project here. So we can give a project name, for example, Strapi. And you can add new members or give permissions to the project. And I'm creating the project. So once I created the project, you can build a cluster. So basically I can use the free one. I'm going to keep it default and create the cluster. Uh, 
and it is creating so so our cluster is created and the same time our docker is ready i mean if you go inside the docker log it is trying to start the app but it is uh, not finding this package in the module and it's trying to restart so we can troubleshoot this before we troubleshoot i want to go inside the app folder and inside the config folder and you can see databases so here we are going to change a little bit of the settings so basically um, well for now for we don't need this this option you can remove it and also here you can remove everything apart from database then you can uh, give any name URL maybe so yes so you uh, you don't need anything here and so you are having just one error okay so I removed one one of this and yes now we are good so I'm going to leave it mongoose and only database URL so go back to the environment environment file and uh, you can now create database URL environment variable here and in the mongodb atlas you can get the database connection string here clicking on the connect and uh, so you can add your current IP or allow access from anywhere so right now I'm going to allow access from anywhere and then you you have to also create a user so I will create user as test and password a new password so I'm going to remember this just uh, test create a database user and then I can choose the connection method uh, your connection method is connect your application and here uh, you can copy this uh, URL and go back to the uh, your code editor and paste this one the URL you copied um, then you have to add your password here and database name here so our database name is Strabi I guess Strabi okay so that's all for here and then let's try to restart the server basically what I'm doing to restart is docker compose stop and uh, one other thing you can do uh, to also debug and fix some uh, if there is any issues is remove node modules here I'm going to delete it from our local folder I mean it's the symlink folder and then do docker compose up again so if I go back to the the container <clears throat> you can see the log here so not modules not installed it's installing so it is created so if you go to the console you can see the app is started and you can copy this localhost URL open in port 1337 and slash admin now you can create here your first admin URL yep here is your strapi admin so it is really easy to start strapi with docker and mongodb atlas so if you go back to the mongodb dashboard if you go inside the cluster and if you see the collection here you can see your your collections here for example database role 
and uh, user permissions and everything you need for today that's it and thank you very much for watching stay tuned